Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a couple packages to unbox for you. So this one here is from Sticker Mule. Get into that one real quick. Uh, I'm using the Growler from Devo Knives, the prototype. Uh, we are very, very happy with this prototype. If you can't tell, I'm like a pig in shit every time I use it. Obviously, the only downside is not having the low tip. This is just a bunch of stuff for Lefty EDC, essentially. Uh, looks like they sent me a surprise. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Oh, I think they have hot sauce or something. And they give it to people if you order a certain amount or something. Yep. Check it out. I thought it was a little bottle. This is a big-ass bottle of mule sauce. Uh, you guys know I love Sticker Mule. Um, they have deals basically every goddamn week. They're always good deals. So I try to buy their stuff a lot. Um, from them a lot, I should say. And they had a deal where... Uh, I didn't know this, but whenever they have a deal, you can order multiples. So you're not going to get the same deal, but you'll get a discount for multiple uh design so basically i um i ordered i think it was these i got 50 of these lefty edc uh stickers for 29 bucks but then i added uh another 50 in the lefty live and that was like 60 something. And then I added another 50 in the dead nuts. And all together, it was like $109 for all three designs. Um, so I got 150 stickers for $109. Um, I don't know. It seemed like a good deal. And it's going to re-up my sticker game because I was really, really hurting. So now I got plenty of stickers back up in the giveaway pouch. And I got mule sauce the wife will probably really enjoy cooking with that or something all right then we have this package from neil hayes i believe this is a trade i made so i made a fidget trade and i'm pretty excited about it because it's another item from compaform so compaform is the company that makes this coin that i absolutely am in love with uh this has been my go-to since right before blade show and on the trip to blade show i use this more than any i did drop it at one point like i chipped the side somewhere but see you can see it's already kind of worn in again um not much damage done and it's a coin you know it's gonna fall i really love this coin it has a cross track i'll do a full review on it i suppose you just go up and around you know what maybe i'll just talk about it now um you go up and what you learn is, at first, you're like, oh, great, it goes up and down, down and up, left and right, right? That's all it does, right? But no, you learn that you can grab the edge here and kind of rotate it down. So you see the face is up, face is sideways, face is down, face is side, face is back up. Just really fun. You can try to get it to go halfway and then down all the way, or you can do one motion down as it spins. Um, and it just is super duper fun. Uh, one of my favorite fidgets probably of all time at this point. Then you have the Argyle V1.1. This is my other favorite. Um, again, on a track, but only up and down this time. And this one, again, I was like, oh, it goes up and down. Cool. It spins like that. Cool, right? But you learn that you go up and then you rotate around and it just is super addicting to do this. So you go up, spin, spin, down, spin, 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 down. And then you learn to kind of go down and rotate. Uh, it, it just, it seems simple, but these are so, whoop, so much flipping fun. Um, Compaform to me, my uh, comp is basically, it's like the Ferrari of fidget toys the craftsmanship that goes into these i mean they're not cheap i think this one was 300 that one was 200 uh, but look at this laser treated titanium it's barely even you can't even tell that i've used it 
Like it's insane how well it holds up. Same here, laser treated tie. This also, by the way, is a top. It's very well balanced. Um, this is on a very rough, jagged surface. It's not gonna show it well, but it spins for a long time. It's very well centered. Just pretty cool to have that extra little touch to it as well, right? Um, so those are the Argyle V.1 and the Laugh Now, Cry Later coin because Laugh Now, Cry Later, very good detail, just amazing. This is the Click Bar. So this is one I've been meaning to try out. Um, just looks interesting, cool. I wanted it to be in titanium, of course, to match or be in whatever, but I guess it does match this. Uh, but it's in some kind of antique bronze, and what it does is go up and down. So you can, I guess, click from up, right? Or you can click one at a time. And I guess the more you click, the better. I don't know. Um, again, like most things, at first glance, I'm like, oh, okay, great, right? Doesn't really do much. Um, but I'm guessing I will probably, by the end, in a couple of days, be like, oh, this thing's amazing. You know, it's just how it is. I do wish it made a clicking sound um, every time. It doesn't when you go just... So that kind of sucks. Um, these come off, I believe. Oh, you can see it comes off if you're down here. Right? Because look, you have a gap here, so you should be able to come lift it out, I would assume. There you go comes out and you just have this magnetic piece and then you can do the same thing with this guy and this guy Oop. and this guy there you go so they all come out they're all the same right and I'm guessing you can take Oop. A microfiber wipe this down see how dirty that was oh geez yeah is that magnet missing or just dirty as hell looks like it needed a cleaning so let's take some alcohol and give it one Now, I traded... I can't even remember what I traded for this. <laughs> oh, I think it was that Desert Eagle toy that I hated. So, not a bad trade in my opinion. So, there we go. Clean that. Just wipe down the rest. This is why I don't like bronze. Probably gets nastier than other things. Uh, clean all these guys off. See how nasty they are. Not as bad, it seems. I tend to clean these things very frequently. But I am one of those types of people. Very clean freakish, so to speak. You can see the wear on there. This is used, obviously. I got it secondary in a trade, like I said. And I really wanted to try one of these out to see how I liked it. So far, eh, I want it to make loud sounds. Um, I want it to click. And I'll show you something similar that I really, really like. Uh, I don't know if cleaning that side matters very much, but might as well. All right. So then... Put them back in, you gotta get down to here, I guess. And I would suppose they go in this way. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that sounded much better. Okay. And I suppose you could put in less or more. Might have just been because it needed to be cleaned that it doesn't make the sounds I want. Or it could be because there's so many pieces, so we'll see. Definitely sounds a little bit better. That sounds amazing. So my game would be do this, right? But I don't know how fun that is. So let, let me show you something. I have a 3D printed one that I absolutely love. And the game here is similar, right? So I'm wondering if you took out, let's say, two of them. And you only had three. I wonder how that would play, right? Seems like it's much more fun when you're moving a bunch at once, right? Why can't you get this one in? I'm putting it in wrong. Oh. That was weird, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Kind of like an abacus. <laughs> it's one, two, three, four, five. So I don't know. I'll have to mess around with it, different combinations of things. But uh, initially, I just wish it had a louder click from one to the other instead of having to do all of them at once, right? Like if this was satisfying. Because in this one... It's very satisfying just having the one piece in there. Almost, I think this is more satisfying than this, than having all these pieces. So, we'll see. Anyway, really cool item, another Compaform piece for me to check out. So, uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments about Compaform. I might do a final sort of overview of all of them, but. There's more that I want from them, so we'll see. Uh, but it's just, in my opinion, the best of the best when it comes to the fidget stuff uh, so far that I've handled. So anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Oh, and uh, if you're interested in this, you can get this from 3DC, 3DC Printings. 
Com or on Etsy. Their Etsy shop is 3DC Printings. You can get this right here. It's called the Keychain for like 10 bucks. Uh, you can use my code LEFTY20 and you'll get 20% off that 10 bucks. So that'll make it 8 bucks. And they have all different kinds of stuff like this. They have this one called the Lunch Tray. And it's just a little more clicky clacky than this. And, and that's kind of what I like about it, right? So, and then this on the back is actually another sort of slider thing. So, uh, well, usually you can take one piece like this. I'll show you. Take one on the back like that. Have this on the front. And then on the back, you can kind of go up, flip around, do your moves and stuff. I haven't handled this in a while, so bear with me there but you can still do moves and stuff. So really cool stuff from 3DC Printings. Very affordable too, you know? So check them out. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.